Hey guys, welcome back to the NFT Watchdog YouTube channel. I wish you a happy new year to start with. And uh, we are going to talk again about the open DAO. Why is that? Because the guys behind it, we didn't talk much about him. But the guys behind it is the biggest hypocrite ever on Twitter, on the NFT space. I'm going to show you that. And that's why you cannot trust anything that he's doing. Uh, he's behind also uh, another group, like uh, two other uh, Discord group. And yeah, it's all like, uh, it sounds like, uh, you know, those uh, pump and dump group where... Uh, where someone that we don't know are telling you, uh, tells you to buy one uh, token and then of course the token goes up because everybody buys it and then everybody leave and of course a lot of people get hurt and of course you never hear about the one who lost because they get uh, muted so you don't know but that's exactly what he's doing and this guy is a, yeah, he's a proper uh, hypocrite let's have a look what he did back to uh, September because this guy started uh, in September his account huh? uh, brand new we don't know who is the guy he did something that that's not fair play at all there is an NFT called the sevens and you could mint one NFT per wallet of course if you have 10 wallets you can mint 10 huh? you can uh, you can always trick the system like that but he found another way he minted 1000 of it 1000 so there is a guy who explained it very well i will leave you the link uh, his name is 0x endeavor he has only 487 uh, followers really follow him he knows exactly what he's talking about and he explained how uh, how this this guy 9x uh, uh, scammed everyone sort of he knew he should mint only one but he minted 1000 anyway and what happened doing that uh, a lot of people were actually trying to mint as well and they lost their gas fee it failed their transaction and they lost the gas fee. Some of them lost over $2,000. So there is a, a lot of people quite upset at it. If you look at the first post from this uh, this dude, this scammer, you can uh, you can see a lot of people are upset. You see one of them here, uh, bro, you're screwing this up for a lot of people. Huh? Some people like me took a big risk in this project. Uh, we put a lot of money, some other borrowed, and uh, you ruin this for a lot of people by holding those because he hold 1000 now so he screw everybody and uh, yeah many people are upset but also uh, that's interesting but a lot of people find it very nice and uh, wow it's amazing uh, when when clearly they didn't lose money that's why they, they think it's amazing and uh, you got most of those people now into his uh, discord because he created a discord behind this he's starting a, a whole bunch of things including the open deal that's that's interesting because the guy started by a kind of a sort of hacking let's call it hack he hacks the smart contract, created big problem for a lot of people, but uh, the guys behind that is creating the open DAO and he, and he tells you here, uh, you see, support, uh, compensate victims, okay, of uh, supposedly open sea uh, rug pool. Uh, when he's uh, a sort of uh, rug pull by himself huh? and uh, he's like supporting emerging artists, support NFT communities, blah, 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 a lot of bullshit. You can claim those uh, these token guys if you go uh, there and if you did any transaction with OpenSea before or on et on Ethereum, you can uh, you can claim some of it and you can try to resell, but you will be able to sell only if someone wants to buy it. Okay, and one other important things to remember is behind this you have the top three wallet who hold over 50% of the supply. So obviously they can rag on you anytime. And uh, yeah, but this guy, this guy is, it's not his first time. And, and that's interesting because then he, he does something very dodgy, okay? Very uh, against the community, I'd say. It's against everybody uh, goodwill. And beyond that, he posts a lot of Twitters where he kind of uh, complain about rug pool and stuff when, when he's, uh, he's dodgy as hell himself. So very very bad people uh, i'm not sure i don't know who's these guys but this guy is dodgy man so you see here he posted something actually stupid he doesn't even know what he's talking about you see november 12th he's talking about mcafee and his uh, bodyguard uh, jimmy gale who actually uh, used to promote cryptocurrencies huh, on the twitter account of mcafee but uh, this guy is dead mate he died a while ago now and uh, this is uh, all news but he's talking about it like the guy is, is alive he's not alive anymore he probably doesn't know say i like him personally whatever so he doesn't ever know what he's talking about but just in just to look like he's a legit guy you see uh, i post against people doing uh, scams promoting scams and stuff when he's doing it all the time that's what he's doing now he opened a group 
a Discord group. Let me show you this one. Yeah, the Club 721 took over two million dollars from uh, membership because you could buy an NFT to gain to join the membership, and it's uh, it's about uh, yeah 2.1 million dollars for what we don't know. So we can keep buying other uh, other uh, whatever. But he's uh, he's basically here uh, telling people uh, about where what to buy. Uh, it's like uh, giving advice uh, to NFT uh, investors and telling them what to what to invest in and what's going to be the next uh, big gems and stuff. When uh, he doesn't know more than anyone else, but uh, yeah, this whole community uh, gathered around him. You see almost 30,000 people, and probably uh, most of them. I have no idea what he did in the first time. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he stole, he stole people, and you know, he never, uh, he never gave back. Uh, he actually gave back 500 of the 1,000 NFTs he, he minted illegally, uh, sort of illegally, and um, give back 500, saying, "You see, I give back to the community." But he didn't give back the gas fees that that people lost because of him. Uh, he never talked about it. Pretty, pretty dodgy, so I know many people uh, really don't like this guy, and maybe they didn't know, but uh, yeah, it's the same guys behind uh, behind this the SOS token. So you guys know what it is about. You already know this is not going to go anywhere. Anyway, here, as usual, uh, we don't know who's behind the project. He's claiming that it's because it's DAO system, so everyone is behind the project, basically. But uh, still, he's the one who manages uh, the big wallets, right? So... It's not so much about uh, the community, eh? it's about nothing actually. Uh, uh, if you look at it, uh, compensate the victim, what victims, there is no way to make any difference between uh, victims and uh, not vi no victims. Because you see, himself minted 1000 NFTs, so he spent a lot in gas fee, okay? Many people lost money because uh, the mint didn't uh, happen, failed. And those people who lost the money, but they were minting one, two, three, three NFT maybe. Uh, so they can claim now the SOS token, but who's going to be able to claim way more than them? But himself, he, he minted 1,000. So you know how much he spent into uh, into gas fee. So he's, uh, he's the one who is the scammer. The scammer actually are the one who are going to be able to to claim more SOS token. So it's not logical at all. And uh, using this as a, yeah, we compensate the victims and stuff, this is so dodgy, I swear to God. There's some people who want to slap their face, mate. Just dodgy like that, I can't believe. But uh, that's what it is when you are a big hypocrite and uh, manipulate the, the community to make them feel like uh, you're a good guy. But you're not, you're, uh, you're a dodgy piece of shit. You see here, he was promoting uh, Playboy NFT. You see, it's like always uh, some stuff like, hey, I shared this before when only 2,000 members there. I knew before everything. Now, you didn't know anything before anyone. This was in the news. And uh, we cannot verify about your 2,000 members when you told everyone. But anyway, uh, you see, and when you took the screenshot, 0 0.38 and now 0 0.14. So you see. More than half the price got divided by more than half. So uh, yeah, so much for your uh, good uh, tips, mate. Uh, you can keep them and uh, put them up your ass, man. See here, he's talking about people uh, sh shilling Ponzi scam, about uh, yeah, tokens that we see all the time, unfortunately. And that's the same with so many NFT projects. But uh, yeah, he's telling, yeah, you see, if you do that, uh, someone else will uh, will lose money at the end of the day. Someone lose it all, blah, blah, blah. Keep talking about uh, Ponzi and, and scams when uh, you are a scammer yourself. I think it's uh, very hypocrite and very... Uh, manipulative from you so i saw many some people saying yeah oh, he's good because look he he owns the doodles and stuff no wait that doesn't mean anything you can be a scammer a piece of shit and uh, and own all the best nfts in the world as long as you've got the money to buy it no problem and that's exactly what he's done here so don't don't think because someone got specific nfts that is more legit than another um, I prove to you that this guy is dodgy as hell. And if you go through all his, uh, his Twitter now, it's all about his open DAO, his SOS token. And so what it is, but you, you guys need to understand the SOS token is given for free for people who, who already spend gas fees uh, on open seas and buying NFTs. So you can claim 
And then if you want, you can sell this token if someone wants to buy it. And so doing all this uh, noise around the SOS token, basically bringing new people into it who, uh, who maybe got some uh, SOS that they could claim for free or not. But many people, unfortunately, are going to buy the SOS token, this shit coin, it's, it's actually a shit coin, and, uh, and going to spend money buying it straight up. And, and this money they're putting in, uh, this money goes straight up to the 9x, 9x x9 pocket uh, straight away because he's behind it so he's the one who created the supply who created the, the, the contract who created the token so he can uh, he gets all the money all your ethereum goes to his pocket and you're making him even more uh, richer and richer and all of this based on something that is absolutely uh, doji and uh, not helping anyone. Uh, the guy is, is, a, is a scammer and uh, now he's making a token, making you believe it's going to help people who got uh, scammed. So yeah, very, very doji. Um, what else I can uh, tell you about him? Not much else because if I keep talking, it's going to take so long. Now the video is already over 10 minutes for me to edit. So it's going to be long. But yeah, be careful when you when you see something, don't jump in straight away. Uh, you all hear about the SOS token and yes, these things is absolutely uh, dodgy. And if you see any guys on YouTube promoting it, and I saw a lot of people talking about it, it's a new uh, next next chance, blah, blah, blah. Those guys, they really don't know what they're talking about. All they do is making videos just to, to get some views and actually promoting you scams, guys. So very be careful about those people talking about SOS token. They they don't know shit about it. They didn't uh, look deeply into it and see who is behind it, who is behind the project. Didn't look into the Discord uh, group of this guy, uh, the Open uh, 721, where uh, you can clearly see a lot of people waiting for uh, for a quick flip. Uh, they're all waiting for a quick flip and uh, this guy just can manipulate anyone saying, hey, you guys you should buy this. This is the next big things. And, uh, and of course, it's going to go uh, to go high because many people are behind it. So they are going all to buy it. And at some point, bah, they start to sell because they all want to quick flip. So it's all for a quick flip. So it's not for a long term, uh, long term investment. It's not going to work in the long term, just uh, for a quick flip. And when you do that, yes, yeah, some people get out with with some good benefits, a double sometimes, triple, but many people also lose their money because of course, hein, if you buy a pr this price and resell, there is someone buying it from you and this guy need to resell. So you need someone also buying from him and etc. etc. And at some point there is no one uh, anymore buying anything. This guy is very dodgy. I wanted to let you all know about him. Uh, share the video, come uh, to the Discord, we have a Discord if you want to talk more about it, if you've been a victim of this guy. And yeah, make sure you, you comment his, uh, his tweet because uh, he's just trying to give advice and, and, and making people believe he's, uh, he's a good guy and he knows better than anyone, but no, he doesn't know better than anyone, but he do know something, he, he knows how to, to scam people, that, that's for sure and uh, reduce the money to uh, to make himself look even better and uh, scam again and again. So this SOS token avoid at all price, avoid it. This is never going to go anywhere, all right, except in his pocket uh, and his friends. I don't know how many people are behind it, but uh, there is three big wallets. I would uh, hope at least three different guys, but possibly just one guy. So yeah, be careful. We don't know who is this guy. If anyone knows his real identity, just let us know. It would be interesting to put a name and a face on his uh, on this dodgy cunt. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. You guys take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.